Well, <clears throat> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we've got ourselves another locomotive review. Um, uh, this is the replacement of the Colas Class 70 I had that wasn't very good. Um, you'll have to excuse the wind noise. I've got a fan on. Um, it's incredibly hot in this room. Um, but here we are. It's a Hornby model. Pretty special to me. Um, and I'll start off with showing you the box, which will give it away straight away. So here we have it. Um, as you can see, <laughs> don't have to say much. It's of course the Mallard um, Gresley A4 uh, in this lovely presentation box. Obviously, it's just a card. Um, this is met, so I've been told. Um, made in coincide with the 80th anniversary which is a uh, really nice so this is as preserved as it is today um, so yeah we've got a picture at the top and um, they did do this with some of the older boxes I think they may even still do it I'm not really sure I don't really buy that much Hornby stuff so anyway um, LNER class A4 Mallard number 4468 of course and on the end um, R3676 is the code number and again as I've just said um, on the front uh, we've got some lovely detail on the back I'll focus on that so you can pause it if you do wish to read anyway lovely box let's put that aside it's already out and it's here um, I don't know um, much about the Hornby A4 obviously this is the most recent release um, so obviously we've got a very usual good detail so strong buffers the coupling hook is already here with the the eye and a brake pipe as well so they're lovely you've got your whistle the chimney double double chimney obviously distinctive to the a4 you've got this lovely side skirt which is fitted to the mallard anyway which is obviously part of its look it's in this lovely lnr garter blue you've got a lovely handrail along here and they've caught the lines of the livery round the front nose very well looks superb so obviously you've got your all your rods and everything down here again brilliant detail you've got like a burgundy maroon color on the wheels again perfect so we'll move down the side so obviously as preserved it's got the world speed record plate um you can probably read it with micro uh, magnifying glass but at this precise moment I can't read it so we're moving along to the cab so you've got the loco build number here I believe the loco runner number lovely handrails here and there this here it's obviously sort of cab door sort of thing on the roof you've got your two pots which are brass and then you've got these vents and they do move as you can see there you go they open and close I've just left them all open it's not raining at the moment let's move down to the rear so I'll just move it forward slowly can't quite see in the cab there's quite a lot of cab detail but again you can't really see it in this daylight I could get a torch I've got a torch here actually a bit bright if you can see cab detail which is in there the lovely blue really nice so the tender 
just pretty standard as preserved non corridor tender uh, realistic coal load not like the railroad one where it looks like it's overfilled obviously the water fill up point on the back as a Hornby A4 it's absolutely lovely I've got the earlier one which is R2059 um, earlier model with the ring filled motor um, so what we'll do we'll move it forward so, lovely action as you can see just moves very smoothly I'm currently waiting on a Hornby A4 sound decoder the TTS one um, from what I've heard they're a nightmare to fit um, if anyone could enlighten us on some information that would be lovely lovely smooth action Of course this model has no lights, which is a bit strange to get used to if you're not used to having models with no lights. So yeah, there we have it, the Hornby A4, uh, latest version on 4468, the Mallard. Um, this model is absolutely amazing and it will join my flying Scotsman when I move. This is quite possibly the last video before I move. Um, I've just purchased some LNER T coaches today, some of the railroad ones, nothing special to go with old Bessie. Um, they'll go very nicely with this because, as a course, she would have ran with LNER Teaks up and down the East Coast Main Line. Um, if they arrive before I move, I will post a little video of them up, but if not, watch this space, I'll see you on the new layout. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Thank you.